So this is minute 65, week 5, day 4. Um, it says match each letter, <coughs> sorry, each word with its definition. We have words prime, factors, and multiples. <coughs> Just remember, multiples are the numbers you get by skip counting by a number, and factors are the two numbers or other numbers that make up a number when multiplying. And then prime numbers is a number that can only be multiplied by one in itself to get to itself. So I'm going to skip this. So we can, I guess I didn't need that clip anymore. Um, one in itself to get to that number. It says numbers that evenly divide another number. So two numbers or more that evenly divide other numbers. So evenly would be factors. Whole numbers that are the products of other numbers. Whole numbers. So multiples that are a product. A product is an answer to multiplication. A number that can only be divided by one in itself. And that was a prime factor. So I'm gonna I don't know what happened to that line, but we're gonna do that. Uh What is the distance from one shaded box to the other? What? What is the distance from one shaded box to the other? Clearly, I'm not going to lie. I don't make this. What do you mean? What are we in fourth, first grade? Like, how many? What is the distance? Well, from one shaded box to the other? Well, it would be three jumps. Jeez. I really am sorry. I don't know what they what's going on. To get from the gray box to the black box, you would move from the gray box to the black box. You would move. Okay, assuming that this is north, east, south, and west. Because I was gonna say it depends on which way you're facing, but that's assuming that there's a compass rose here. They really should not be writing this. This is not good. Anyway. So, to get from the gray box to the black box, she would move east. Okay, do the parentheses first for number four. So, six plus two is eight. So, we have ten minus eight. Ten minus eight is two. Sorry, my lead keeps breaking. If 4 ninths is equal to blank sixteenths or x 6, 36, then what is x? Well, what happens from 9 to 36? Well, it multiplies by 4. So if 9 times 4 is 36, 4 times 4 would be 16. So x equals 16. That's because you are multiplying by 4. So if you do it on the bottom, you got to do it on the top. If 3 plus 6 plus 2 plus 8 plus 3 plus n is 27, then what does n equal? Well, this is 9, this is 10, this is 3, so 9 and 10 is 19, 20, 21, 22. So we would subtract 22 from 27, which would get us 5, and that would be our answer for 5. For n, 5. If you wanted to, and I'm not saying that you would because it makes more sense to do that, they would say you would subtract all of these to over here, and then figure it out so but that's easier just do that way um for problems seven through nine circle the greatest amount so we have five times five times five which is 125 we have the square root of five which is how many two sides so when i think of this i always think of the square that makes that so five times five so five or 10 to the square root, which is 10 times 10, which equals 100. So it says circle the greatest amount. Yes, please. Three weeks, 20 days, or one month. Um, well, we first of all, we know it's not 20 days because one month is at least more even February has more than 20 days in it. Three weeks, there's seven days in a week, so seven times three is 21. 
So that beats that. And in one month, even if it's just February, at least it's 28 days. So that one. Then it says, what's the greatest amount? Five, a negative times a negative is a positive. So we have positive 25. Positive times a positive is a positive. So we would have positive 24. And then how many times does 5 go into 100? How many nickels would you have if you did had a dollar you would have exactly 20 so which one's the greatest circle that yay for problem 10 use the rules of negatives to help you simplify each expression so down here you have the rules of negatives Jeez, I'm not even attending so this is negative 8 plus negative 5 so if I owe somebody eight dollars and I owe them five more you should stop borrowing money and go get a job number one number two you now owe them thirteen dollars way to go this one we have now this is kind of a tricky one and they don't really tell you this but this is actually because you have these two negatives together it's gonna to be a positive so five plus four is nine hmm. And just so you know, that um, I hope you check your work when you're doing these. And just so you know, I do check my work to make sure I'm not giving you the wrong information. And I'm going to check on this one right here to make sure. Because that what they show you and what I have is not necessarily, I mean, they're base, they're giving you something different and that's why I'm looking. Nope, I'm right, negative 13, nine. They didn't talk about this here. So it says if you have a positive and a negative, your answer is positive. This doesn't work for adding and subtracting. If you have a positive minus a negative number and your positive number is three and your negative number is 12, your answer is going to be negative. That's not, this is not necessarily always true. Now, if you have a negative number plus a negative number, your answer should be negative, and that's correct. But if you have this one where you have 4 minus negative 5, these two negatives together show a positive. Mr. Soul explained this to me, and I understood it, but I don't think this is, the, I mean, to explain it in this situation, I would just remember when you see these two negatives by each other, you're adding them. All right, that's it.